Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tom, also known as Calzone P. In today's video, we're going to show you how to change your DPI on your G502 Lightspeed. So this is going to be a little bit different than our previous video. That was on the Logitech G software, whatever they call it. This is the brand new G Hub. Uh, there are a couple issues with it that I've experienced, but hopefully they'll get the kinks out and then it will be a finished product. Alright, so here we have the G502 Lightspeed. It just came out. And right here is your light sync gives you your primary lighting as well as the logo lighting. You can change that here. You can change the rate, the brightness, the color, all that good stuff. You can also sync the zones so they're the same color and they move at the same rate. Now, as far as this goes, these are the assignments. This is where you can change your macros. Uh, they actually make it pretty simple here where you can change it to each game that you play. So that's pretty cool. Now right here, this is what we really want, the bread and butter of the mouse you want to use your dpi and change it to whatever you use accordingly if you've never seen this before you'll probably be around the 1600 mark with the g502 i recommend anywhere between 400 to about 800 uh you know it kind of varies depending on your play style depending on how big your mouse pad is stuff like that i always keep the report rate at 1000 because shroud does and shroud is probably one of the best aimers in the world and uh we're just gonna go with it so as far as this goes, you're going to have a bunch of sliders on this bar right here. So what you're going to have to do is, I'll just add another one so you can see it. Now as far as this goes, if you want to change this and get rid of the 800 DPI, which I do not want, I only want the 400, you just kind of take it, and then you drag it off the slider like this. And now it's gone. So this should be like three or four points here. So if you just want to make it so that there's only one point, which is what I do because I don't change my DPI for any of my games. Because in my opinion, that's going to make your accuracy kind of uh, not exactly efficient. Here you go. So you just get rid of it and you are all good. So now I'm at 400 the whole entire time. If you want to change it, you can and you would just change it by changing the maps. And that's really it. And guys, we also stream on Twitch, so if you want to drop a sweet follow, we just crested over 7,500 followers. Holy, I didn't even realize. That's insane. And just over 50,000 views. Guys, we are thumbing out there. We stream customs and scrims and all sorts of cool stuff on Fortnite. We're going to get into Modern Warfare content. So if you want to see some sweet shooters and see the G502 wireless in action, don't forget to drop us a follow. We have the link as well in our bio. I hope this guide helped you. It's super, super simple. If you have any other questions whatsoever, you can feel free and join our Discord. The Discord link is down below in our description. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to join our community down below on Discord. We'll see you there. And until next time, your boy Calzone is out. Peace.